Hi, I'm Allie Dazzle for We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm excited to share some tips with you for using the Easy Tuft. When we designed the Easy Tuft, we wanted to create a more accessible, faster way for you to do your tufting projects at home. Let's get started and I'll show you how this works. The first thing you're gonna need to do is assemble your frame. Remember, as you're working on your project, you're gonna need to tighten the cloth around your frame frequently. You can also add hot glue to your frame to keep the cloth tighter as you're working with it. Next thing you're gonna do is get your tufting gun set up and ready to go. First of all, make sure the power is off. Then you're going to take this cord and plug this end into the wall and you're going to plug this end into your box. Then you're going to take this end of that cord and plug it into this end from the cord on the machine, and then you're ready to go. Then you're gonna choose your yarn. Now, if you're using thick yarn, you can just use one strand when you're tufting. If you're using standard size or smaller yarn, you're going to want to use two strands. So the best way to use yarn when you're tufting is to use what's called a yarn cake. You can purchase yarn cakes pre-made from the craft store, or you can also make your own. The easiest way to make a yarn cake is to take a marker with a clip, take your yarn and push it down into the clip, and then just start winding around the center of the marker. The last little bit, you're just gonna wrap around the center and then tuck that end underneath. Then you're gonna pull the marker out and that's got your end. And now you have a center pull yarn cake, which is the very best way to use your yarn for tufting. Then you're gonna take the threader that comes with your gun and you're going to push it up through the hole in the needle and then through the coil on the top. Then you're going to take your two strands of yarn and thread them through the threader and then pull it back until you've got your yarn threaded. Now it's really important to make sure that your yarn can be pulled by the tufting gun and it's unobstructed. If there's any tension in that yarn while you're tufting, you're gonna have problems. So make sure there's nothing that the yarn can get caught on and that it's free to move as you're tufting. Now you're ready to start. If you're new to tufting, I recommend keeping the speed on the lowest setting. You can adjust that using the black dial on the handle of the gun. You're gonna hold the tufting gun with two hands, press the needle into the cloth completely and use quite a bit of pressure to hold it against the cloth. You're gonna work from the bottom of your cloth up to the top and start tufting by pressing the white trigger button. Continue that consistent pressure as you move the gun up and create lines of tufting. Your tool will beep if the yarn gets stuck or if there's too much yarn in one place. Remember, you're gonna need to oil your machine every two to three hours or between projects. Use a screwdriver to remove the five screws on the casing of the gun. Be sure to keep track of the screws and the nuts so you don't lose them. Then you're gonna add sewing machine oil to the linear bearings and to the scissors. Once you finish all your tufting lines, you're going to add adhesive to the back with the putty knife. That's gonna prevent the yarn from unraveling and falling out. Once your adhesive is dry, you're going to trim the cloth around your project, leaving a two inch border. If your project has curves or is round, you can cut the cloth every two inches and fold it over overlapping the pieces. Use a hot glue gun to secure the cloth around the edges. Then you're going to take the backing and trim a piece that's the shape of your project. Use spray adhesive to glue the backing to your project. Then you can add twill tape to the edge of your project for a finished look. Then you're gonna flip your project over and use the carving shears to cut off excess pieces and to get a nice shape to your project. To maintain your project, you definitely don't wanna put it in the washing machine, but you do wanna spot clean it and regular vacuuming to keep it clean is very helpful. There are so many different projects that you can make with the Easy Tuft. You can make pillows, you can make rugs, you can make wall hangings, you can make furniture, home decor, you can make 
tote bags, all kinds of fun things. So be sure to check out the Easy Tuft and all the accessories that are available and give it a try. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers.